Hey, I'm Nicathalon Gamer. Welcome back to Tour de France 24, episode 42. Oh, we're at the Rendezvous in Flandern. This is one of those races that's probably going to be a bit too much to ask for. The climbing part, no problem. The distance, no problem. Cobbles, not as massive of a problem as it used to be, but enough of a problem that it will probably rule me out. But we'll see. We do have two pretty good team members who are amongst the favorites for a day such as this in Mahorich and Kuhn. So protecting those two, protecting myself, we'll see what we can do. Uh, we're already into the cobbles, we're already into the climbs, we're getting in, into that phase. Tempo hasn't been bad for now. The breakaway had a healthy gap, but it's already down inside four minutes. It's starting to close up. Heading to the final feed zone and the peloton still together in the gap, still roughly three minutes. Not much has changed for a while and we're gonna enter that final phase, that final third where the race is gonna really take off. So the peloton has split in half uh, with a small attack and the chase of that attack has led half the group to get dropped. Our whole team though, still well placed as we head into this next phase. Difficult cobbles and a climb. And you can see how I do drift back a little bit, but we get through that one, no problem. Oh, well, maybe a small problem. I definitely went backwards just a bit there. And gosh, is it time to use gels already? No, probably not, not yet. Short descent, another steep climb, up the Paderberg. Uh, let's take control from here. It's still 50 kilometers to go. I really have to push to kind of keep position here and you can see things split really quick. Pedersen and Vanderpoel are both in the brakes, so uh, that's a threat. Whoa, really, really had to lock those brakes up tight. Uh, to not get dropped there and the field splits into a million parts around that corner There's now 21 and then 9 and then I'm in a group of 22 chasing Bates and Bernal are both here. Let's tell Bernal to uh, to ride When I'll he comes through I'll, I'll kind of sit on and We'll follow him as we try to uh, close this back down So you got a front six just a few seconds ahead of a chasing group of 21 this comes together. We pull in more teammates with this one. So it's 30 chasing 21. So realistically, there's still about 60 riders in contention. We're also far enough along that it's a good time for everyone to uh, gel. Okay, Koppenberg, 11.6% and heavily co cobbled. Uh, still no sign of Bernal. Bernal's been tasked with pushing and chasing for a long time and let's just see how slow I am. Full gas and I'm barely keeping up with these guys. Red bar gone, down to 100%, but I'm past the steepest portion. Laporte now leads at the front. Alphalete doing the work for now. Alright, we definitely lost a little ground, but we're not out of this thing yet. Skinny road. It's hard to, uh, well, it's hard to even ride in the pack right now. You get squeezed constantly. 38 riders in the peloton. My entire team is here. They still have their gels. Everybody else has used theirs. So we have a, a full contingency of riders, seven riders of 38, but it's not an easy chase. There's nine riders in all up the road, including favorites, like almost entirely favorites. And Burrow went out the back. That explains why he sat up so fast. So it's still the 32 of us still chasing the same riders. Uh, the front four are clear on who they are. We know that Van Aert is amongst the six that's chasing without breaking into it and looking. He's there is Bernal doing his work. 
Not much left of this thing, but it's still 35k. Last little bit is definitely on the flat side. And we're down to 22. We split off six riders out the back. At least one teammate was in that group. It's Yates, and Yates is done. Uh, so that's, that's okay. Why don't you persist without limit and not... Understood. I'm, I'm about to get dropped. The longest hill on the I'm about to get dropped for no reason. Alright, this is kind of the last big climb of the day here. Okay, this is where we want to use what we have and go. Done with the cobbles. He's trying to get out of the peloton. Watch out! And I'm almost in contact with these five and M. Now there's only two guys further up the road, and they're not riding hard at all. What's their problem? I'm already a minute ahead of the group that I left. And there's only 14 left. Now there's only Velens ahead of me. So it's a group of seven. We're going to catch Velens, group of eight. This is now the eight favorites. There's a couple cobbled sectors left. I really don't want to be the one doing work here. I'll have to monitor this and might Only have to do the sit on the command front. at some point. Only the Uduk Faramont and the Paterberg remain for them to sort out a hierarchy and avoid a sprint finish. Three chasers, half a minute down. And then it's, the it's over two minutes to the peloton. Um... I need to push on a little bit here so I don't get dropped. Lutsenko, Velens, Laporte, Pidcock, Pedersen, Van Art, and Vanderpool. The favorites. And then me, the weak cobble rider chasing and struggling to chase now. Struggling to chase. Almost to the top here. Lutsenko also dropped. Out of red bar. Bridging that gap to these guys hurt. But, I mean, look how far behind everybody else is. Right. I don't think I'm going to contend, so I might as well tell them to do something useful and go for it. They don't have the advantage of me up the road well placed any longer. Hard turn and then you go straight into another climb. I am actually bridging the gap a little bit on these guys up this Paterberg. They've let up quite a bit. At the top of the Paterberg, everybody's been able to put one over on his opponent. Two minutes ahead of my teammates though. And that's the final climb, the final cobble sector, I think. 11k. Can't go full gas for 11k. Well ahead of Lutsenko, though. And three of my teammates have left behind the peloton. And Yates... Yates doesn't have the energy to compete with those guys, and leaving behind his teammates is not helping anything. 8.8k with low energy. Okay, they're back together. Uh, and good, Yates is back to riding. Yeah, I mean, look at Mohoric and Kung. They've got nothing. I'll go pull out on okay, the dropping way. riders from the group. By the way, Gramai, Betty All Swift. And catching other riders ahead of them, too, as they thin out. I'm about to bonk out myself, though. 3k to go. One K to go. Okay, one K to go. Finish. Finish has already happened. Uh, what's the exclusion? It's Wow Van Art. Van Art wins. Laporte, Vanderpool, Patterson, Pitcock, Valens. I'm still riding for seventh, and I'm the next rider up the road. So they actually effectively caught everybody else, and they're still a minute behind me. So uh, they are at one point nine K. I will finish ahead of them, and right before I get to the line, we'll pause and tell them to attack. They've split it off to eight riders. Uh, attack, attack.
attack, attack. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Good result. Good result without the cobble rating. What am I actually capable of? Yeah, expectation here. I mean, last time, did we even crack top 100 or top 80? I don't think we were in the top 100. So a top 10 finish and three teammates in a good position to do more. The favorites, they were ahead very early in this one. I don't know if they attacked in the first cobbled sectors and I didn't see it or if they attacked from the very beginning because I never looked at who was in the break, but we made contact. Just couldn't stay there through the last two cobbled sectors that were also climbs. And one of those just really did me in. Seventh place, minute and a half down, 215 to the other group. Uh, Stoyven, Van Barl, Sheffield took the highest places, but McNulty and Kung, uh, Mahorich was 15th. Simon Yates was 25th, Adam 36th, Bernal 49th. So the entire team in the top 50 is pretty good. Next up, though, uh, it's definitely not my race with Paris-Roubaix. Way too many really difficult cobbled sectors. This one at least is a little bit of a hybrid. It helped me hang in there. This is going to be my poor performance, but we'll see what Kung and Mahorich can do at Paris I do enough to pick up 70 points at least, 400 exactly on the season. And here we go. The hell of the north. 23 cobbled sectors await us, and that is, oh, 28. That's the first. A good 20 of them are really tough, and a good 15 of them are absolutely brutal, and there is our first brutal one. You can see how quickly I go backwards and how much damage it does to the team as a whole outside of Kung and Mahorich. Everybody else really feeling it on that one. Uh, first feed zone is coming fairly soon, though, so we will be able to get everybody refreshed. And we hit that first feed zone, uh, but you can see that really only Kung and Mahorich are still looking good. Simon Yates pretty okay uh, but we're yeah this is this is gonna be a struggle it's the last time we're gonna see our rider really struggle in a race something we saw plenty of uh, in the earlier phases of this game but not these days but this particular day hell yeah <laughs> way too much for us our rider is very much not built for this we're gonna have to gel up again here pretty soon and we're a long ways from the feed zone, but this is going to be the last cobbled the sector. It's so uh, sector 20, so this 19 is remain. This is where race. we get a little break. Everybody gets some recovery, but you can see Adam Yates and myself are the two weakest out there. And the first riders have been dropped, and it's time for the gels for the weaker bunch. 126 left in the peloton, three minutes behind the break, and it's the Trench of Ehrenberg. Probably the most famous sector of them all. But plenty of difficulty remains. The group is already starting to thin. Adam out the back. Myself, I'll be heading out the back pretty soon. Still three minutes, just 100 riders left. Four stars. And long 3.7k, I bonk out, and I'm gone. Watching the front from here. Doesn't matter much what I do. And Simon's dropped, and we're down to two. And now they're starting to feel it. Uh, is there a feed zone coming? And yes, there is. Have they reached it yet? I don't know. I sure hope not. I hope okay. I'm not wasting their I'll gel. I think I just saw Simon Yates get a gel, which means they were just past it when I told them to take it. Yeah, they are past it now. That's disappointing. I wasted that a little bit. I'm 127th on the road, by the way. Uh, both of them are still there. They're just 25 seconds behind the leader. Uh, Laporte looking like he's not going to be winning today uh, as he's picked the breakaway, and the breakaway has not been the right move. 39 riders at the front. Now just 23, uh, because 10 riders attacked. 10 seconds behind. Back together, 33 at the front. I'm on sector 11, four stars. Okay, they leave uh, Velens behind, Van Barl behind. 
They've caught other riders. Now there's seven. Uh, Mohoric is catching riders pretty quick right now. Ten seconds behind. Leaving more behind. And they've caught the front group. Mohoric. Now you could back off. Tempo I'll 80. Laporte's been left behind. Stoyven, Kampenarts, Degenkolb, Van Barl. Ten riders left at the front. We have two of them. I was definitely hoping for a top ten. Niels Pollitt gets dropped. And the gaps are opening pretty quick. I have 33k, but it's hard to tell what they have until you see the 5k the front marker. Of the race is now entering the I know, I'm way the behind sector. those guys. The riders will then head straight onto the Carrefour de l'Arbre, the final five-star sector in the race. Almost to the final five-star. Okay. Four riders, Sheffield, Pivy, dropped. Mohoric is seventh on the road and needs a gel. Okay. There's two Walk riders ahead of him. There's two riders ahead. Vanderpool. Back together there. Lascano gets dropped. 4K. I'm going to tell Vanderpool to lap, attack. And it's the finish. Or Kung to attack. At about 900 meters, I think. 3, 2, 1. Van Ar Kung gets a top five. I'll take that. Van Aert takes a win. Pedersen, Vanderpool for Mirsch. Kung is fifth. He is capable of winning a race like this, but generally solo. He's not going to necessarily win a sprint. Pity. Mahorich gets ninth. Laporte tenth. Stoyven. And I've still got 15k to go. Finally, the final 5k there. I have gels in full strength too, and 10k to go. You know what? Let's let's improve our position. Catching the next group ahead of me. Up to 122nd on the road. That was the final cobbled sector. Get to that velodrome soon. I got teammates finished or finishing soon. But two guys in the top 10 is a good result. The rest of this doesn't matter. And into the velodrome. Oh, that's not the wall. I hit air and came to a full stop. And there's the group that I had. As much as I could ghost between them, I don't want to ghost between them, so <laughs> go right around the outside and finish. For a hundred and second. Almost made the top 100. Almost. Not quite. Big improvement from last time, which is sad to say. <laughs> it's Liege, Bastogne, Liege, and it's very early in the race, but we've got a breakaway that is not firmly established. As a result, there's already a contingency of riders out the back, 26, 27 riders now out the back, and we're only a minute behind a small breakaway group that keeps uh, getting hammered and splitting up bit by bit. And so we could be in for a very unique race with uh, a much smaller group much earlier on and see some big gaps. This, unlike uh, the last couple of classics without the cobbles, definitely makes me among the favorites as a strong climber and a fairly good puncher. Uh, team is back to full strength though as we have sat up and allowed the breakaway to be away. In fact, it's come back together. So there's seven riders off the front as we begin, other than the couple early hills, uh, we begin the first climb of the day. But this thing really picks up in the final third. Here we go into the final third right now, just cruising along four minutes, chasing the breakaway, full peloton together and fresh. First feed zone behind us, second feed zone after quite a few climbs. The thing about LBL is there is not a flat kilometer in this thing. It is constant undulation, up, down, up, down, up, down. But the up, down gets a lot more serious in this final third. And we're into it and up to it now. Pace, the tempo just starting to uh, rear its ugly head. And we get through one of the steepest, longest climbs of the day. 
but everybody's still pretty fresh. Peloton shrinking, but not rapidly. That was it right there. Uh, we had one rider that was less than 100%. Getting attacks, attacks from the group. Let's counter that, not with an attack, but with our free man. All right, we've caught those guys. Peloton, meanwhile, shrunk a little bit further. Now 83 riders. Gregoire uh, among those out the back. And Bernal, I want you to ride 100%. I'll make a big effort on the relay. The plus is only doing 70. The end of the stage is not there far off. Stay awake. 44K. Start to move in the peloton. Uh, we just dropped the 21 the riders the with peloton. the acceleration. Crest, descend, and then you're getting into it. Uh, the, the last handful of climbs. No reason to let up. Some of the riders get back in contact. But just 57 left. Seven left off the front. Hershey he's not far climber, ahead. Able to follow the very best when he's in shape. Got squeezed there too, but at least caught that one. It's Got two out of the way. at almost 9%. And sections at 20%. The Cote de la Redoute is a true wall. Okay, it's one of the biggest climbs this crew, that remains. Or to abandon all hope of victory. Last time checked with a breakaway. One minute. Bernal. Hershey, caught and passed. Split the field into 13, just like that. Split our group into four. De Plus goes backwards, too. Uh, we're splitting the group constantly. What's going on, Bernal? Bernal, why'd you sit up? Bernal sat up and waited. Very much against the orders he was given. We have separ separation again. Following Bernal again. We're going to actually ride. Sheffield's also going flat out. We'll see what's left here at the top of the climb. It's going to be a much smaller race. group. That much I know. Tiberi's still the front. Bernal and I are second and third on the road. Outside of Bernal, none of my teammates are tired and we're all over the front of this field. So we're in a great position to do well today. A little recovery in there while Bernal continues to ride and push, push us out that little bit further, 22 seconds ahead. And Bernal is done. I'm going to come through, and I'm on my own. Pidcock has left the peloton behind. 18 there. They're not that far behind me. Penultimate difficulty of the day and he the sits up. The, race. the moment we hit the climb, fight. he sits up. I think now's the time to go. To He's leave him to and to leave the uh, peloton. And it's now a small group at the front with one climb essentially left. We're going to have a short descent here and the next climb will decide this the one. Of to be climbed, and no Eight of us here. Managed to shake off his opponents. The suspense is overwhelming. Adam Yates did make it into a small group of four, leaving behind the rest. Our pace lifts slightly as I peel off from the front, but I'm getting some good recovery in to set this final climb up. Here comes Yates with the big effort. Good timing for him to come through. I'm going to follow for now while the others, Bardet, are trying to attack. And Yates 
can't handle the steepness of it. There we go. I can get separation. I can get separation. Yes, I can. A lone rider goes over the top of the Roche of Foucault. Just a little recovery. Got a ride on, though. We're not done climbing yet. Gotta push on so these guys can't bridge the gap. There is a descent to come. It's just not a great descent. But it looks like I'm not gonna stay ahead. It's only four seconds. Oh, it's opening up though. Nobody can chase me right now. Six seconds. About to crest. It's gonna be downhill here in just a moment. Six seconds ahead is all I have and the energy is very slight. Having to back off though. Nine seconds ahead. Damn it. Still not descending. Just slightly downhill so I could push that a little bit harder. Seven seconds. He's moving onto the attack. Speeding up a little bit more. Four seconds with the proper descent coming in just a moment if I could stay away. Ah, I can't. Here they come. His 5k banner and I've got nothing. I got nothing. I gotta keep riding. It's 6%. Uh, Venipole and I slip off the back. I didn't want to turn. I thought I had enough pace for it. Two and a half K. And I'm just going to have to follow for now and hope that I've got something for the sprint. Yates is solo in eighth. Kung is solo in ninth. Final 1K. Victory and almost nothing. In the sprint. Yates is coming, so I'll sit on while these guys play. I still can't attack yet. I've got so little. i got to just save it for later. I'm not going to win. No way am I going to win, because here we go. For the last ounce of energy, bonk out right at the finish line. I beat one guy. I beat one guy. Um team result though is fantastic i mean we are all over the high standings i was hopeful of a win today never got the separation i needed does this come back to my hills rating being not great probably uh, because none of the climbs are long enough and unlike pcm where your climbing rating is based on pace here or effort here in tour de france um it's based on length of climb, and these were all short climbs, so it was hills rating all day long. Hills rating is what it was using on me. It was not using mount, mountain rating, and as a result, um, I didn't quite Ladies have the strength. I got separation, but I just couldn't. I couldn't beat those guys head to head, and being away solo for so long left me so little left in the tank to do something but I mean as a team 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 15 and 26 for the entire team last place is 26 that's a very strong result as a team as an individual 475 points now as a team yeah we pick up 335 outscoring everybody else 1181 on the season things are going really well uh, we've got two races to quick sim and then we begin the Tour de France and yes, that is gonna be the final race. Honestly, win or lose, I just gotta go for it. I'm gonna be very capable of winning it, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not gonna give it another, I'm not gonna wrap it around another season. We are very capable of winning. This is it, either I step up or I shut up. That's gonna do it for this episode though. I'm the Calfon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Words, subscribe, right. You know that, you know the routine by now. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.